or CPM for short, allows you to integrate your Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central software to Stripe's digital payment platform. This gives you the freedom to work with an external solution that meets your payment processing and collection needs while still being able to use your ERP system. CPM is embedded directly within your Business Central environment, allowing for a streamlined communication between Business Central and Stripe. Uh, there are a number of steps that you must complete in order to set up your CPM solution. Uh, this includes creating and configuring a sales channel, uh, as well as linking customers between Business Central and Stripe. Uh, these setup activities are covered in other videos, and I would encourage you to review those as needed. But once you're done with all that and you've completed your setup, the final thing you want to do is perform your first retrieval of payments and other transactions from Stripe. Now, before we can do this, we need to talk a little bit about automation routines or automation tasks. As part of the setup process, a group of records that are used to automate the execution of CPM's API functions are loaded for a given sales channel. We can view these tasks by searching on CSM automation list. You can see that each one of these automation tasks has a last run timestamp of July 10th, 2021, 12 a.m., and a scheduled frequency of one minute. Uh, these values are just automatically assigned by default when the records are initially loaded into the system. Uh, when an automa automation routine is executed, um, if the last run timestamp exceeds the scheduled frequency, the relevant API function will be performed. Uh, that probably sounds a little confusing, so I'll just give a quick example. Let's look at our first API type for get new invoices. This has a last run timestamp of July 10th, 2021 at 12 a.m. and a scheduled frequency of one minute. So if we were to run the automation on July 10th, 2021 at 12 a.m. and 30 seconds, probably a silly example, I know, uh, the get new invoices function would not execute because its scheduled frequency is a minute. If we ran the automation at say 12.01 or 12.02 a.m., the function would execute and new invoices would be retrieved. That's a little technical, uh, but it's important to understand this so you can have some context when it comes to retrieving your first transactions from Stripe. So we're looking at this now, if we were to execute these automation routines today, we'd be indicating we want to retrieve all data stretching back to July 10th, 2021. Uh, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, uh, but depending on how you want to deploy CPM, it may be excessive. And for this reason, what we recommend you do is determine a cutoff date for data retrieval, and then update the last run timestamp accordingly. So we basically want to pick a date and say everything prior to that in Stripe will, will remain in Stripe and everything on or after that date we want to retrieve into Business Central. So today's date is, if I click T, July 20th, 2022. Let's say we want to make our cut date the first of the month. So I'm going to change this to July 1st, 2022. Uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to basically update all of my other last run timestamps accordingly. Okay, once you've made that change, once you've determined your cutoff date and entered that as the last run timestamp, you're now ready to retrieve your data. Now, typically you would automate this process and CPM includes a code unit uh, that can be assigned to a business central job queue entry for this purpose. So that would be typically what you would do, um, but it is possible to manually run the automation if necessary. And it's recommended you do this for your initial data retrieval. So to do so, I'm gonna open your payment platform card 
then choose the process ribbon and then run the uh, run default channel payment manager automation action. And what this is going to do is it's going to instruct CPM to run the automation routines. Uh, the time it takes to complete this operation will depend on the volume of records you are retrieving. Once the process is complete, you receive a notification message as we have here, and we have retrieved our first records from Stripe. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can review this information. Uh, for example, I choose the related ribbon and then transactions. I can see all of the activity that I have retrieved. So congratulations, you have now set up, uh, configured your CPM solution. You've retrieved your first set of transactions and you are now good to go. Uh, Sweet Engine continues to produce videos that highlight the functionality of CPM and how can you can use it in your everyday operations. So please be sure to check for regular updates, uh, regular videos and new videos that will show you how to get the most out of your solution. Mm -hmm.